Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the count formula function. We're going to be looking at uh, a few different scenarios uh, with these functions and how they can help us uh, make the calculations a lot easier for the information that we're looking for. Now today I've given a, um, an example for shot put results. Uh, so for example, for the shot put, each one of these uh, students got three attempts each. This is their first attempt, the second and their third attempt. Now, for example, Harry, he threw three different values here and you can see he got further each time with his shot put. Uh, Stephanie, uh, she fouled and then she didn't attempt any more throws after that. So a foul is when the shot put goes out and the blank cell means that they didn't attempt to throw uh, at all. Okay, so we're going to go based on this scenario and see how we can use the formulas to help make our calculations a lot more meaningful. Okay, so the first one we're looking at is how many cells are not blank? Okay, so how many people threw in the first attempt? So we're going to use our count A formula. Count A. And we're going to highlight our range and hit enter. Okay, now this tells us there were six total throws, which is correct because we've got three fouls and three throws. If we remove Harry's throw, you can see this changes to five. Or if we remove a foul, it changes again. Okay, so we can tell there were a total of six throws by using the count A formula. Okay, just to show how many cells are not blank. Next, we're going to have a look at how many were successful throws. Now, if the throw was successful, then they would have a number like so. Okay, these are all successful here. This one they didn't throw here, so we're just looking for uh, successful throws. So for that, we're going to use equals count. Now, what this does is it counts how many cells contain a numeric value in that cell. So it should count these three uh, with the numbers and ignore the ones that have the text foul in there. So let's try that. Equals count. Okay, and we're going to highlight our cell range. Again, we have three. Now, if we remove a foul, you'll see it won't change. Okay, there are still three. However, if we remove one of the throws, Hannah's first throw, you can see it changes to two because it's counting only those cells that have a value. Okay, let's auto fill those along now. Uh, so if we have a look, total throws, here we have five total throws because one person, they didn't throw the second attempt. And the third attempt here, we can see there were two people, again, that didn't throw. So the total throws are four, okay? We're using it by using the count A, how many are not blank, okay? Now for the six, six successful throws, we can see there were five successful throws here, okay, which is uh, correct. And we have three successful throws uh, in this end column here. Now, for a foul, uh, we're going to use our count if equals count if. We highlight our range, but this time, can you see criteria? Okay, for this syntax here, we press comma and you will see the criteria lights up. Now, what we need to do is we need to look for all the cells that have the word foul in. So we're going to type into here foul. Okay, close our bracket. Now, what it should do is it counts how many are fouls by using I criteria. Okay, so there are no fouls here. There's one foul here. Again, we're counting E3 to E8, which is this range, and we're looking for the word foul. Okay. Next, how many non throws? Now, we know people that didn't throw is an empty cell. So these are the people that didn't attempt even uh, attempt to throw. Okay, so we're looking for empty cells. So let's go in here equals count counts blank. Okay, again, highlight the range. Hit enter. Okay, so there were none zero non throws. Let's also fill this along and we should have a look to see how the calculation works. Now, uh, we have one here, which is correct. We're counting the blank cells. This is a non-throw. There's one. 
Next, we have two non-throws, which is here. So we're counting the blank cells. If I was to remove this, for example, and this and remove all of them, you can see non-throws were six and the total throws are zero. You can see how it, it works like a spreadsheet model. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to look at the counteth, but with uh, some criteria. So how many were greater than seven meters in distance? So what we're going to do is use our equals count if, okay, the range, this is the range, and we press comma for the criteria, we put in here, is greater than seven. Okay, in there. Now we have two on the first attempt that are greater than seven. Let's uh, copy that across. We have two again in our second attempt. And our third attempt, there's only one that made greater than seven. Okay, so by using these different count formulas, we can find out a lot of information uh, based on how we enter the data for the shot put results. That is the end of our lesson on count formulas.